Here's another one that it looks really tempting to say that's already factored. Um, so I just have to figure out like what makes one three and one five. But remember, that's not the only way to make 15. You could make one one and one fifteen. You could make one one tenth and the other one hundred and fifty. There's a ton of ways to do this. So again, the idea would be it's not useful unless it's equal to zero. So I'll go other order from the last video here. So we can subtract the 15 from both sides and that does make it equal to zero. And now that we have the 15 over there, maybe it's a little easier to see that it's not fully factored. Um, we have the first chunk factored, but then there's a minus 15. So the big operation is not multiplication, it's actually subtraction. So the only way to fix that is to foil that first chunk back out combine the 15 in and then try to refactor. So when I FOIL that, I get 2k squared uh, minus 4k is my outside plus 3k is my inside minus 6 is my last. So I end up with 2k squared uh, and then when I combine those k's, it's just actually a minus 1k and then negative 16 minus 15 is negative 21. So um, I don't see a greatest common factor. There's the only thing I could factor out of that first one is the two and nothing else is gonna let me factor a two out. So I'm just gonna go for my unfoil. I do wanna split up my K and my K. Two is kind of nice because you don't have many choices. It's two and one, and one and two, and it doesn't really matter which order you put those for this step. You can make the order work out right when you split up the 21. Um, so we need factors of 21. We're hoping to get this minus K in the middle. Again, I would say since that's a one, that's a small number. I'm thinking I want to split up those factors of 21. I don't think I want the one in 21. Getting 21 in the mix is going to make it hard to get back to one in my head. Um, so I think I want the three and the seven. And in fact, I'm going to say I want the seven here and the three here so that the inside is 7K and the outside is 6K. And if I attach the minus sign to the seven, 6K minus 7K is going to be negative one times K, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, so we can now pull that apart and set each factor equal to zero. The only way to make a product zero is if one of the factors is zero. So this is the only way to make that original statement true. Um, in that first equation, I'm gonna add seven to both sides and I'm gonna divide by two. In that second equation, it's actually just a one step. I'm gonna subtract three and those are my two possible solutions. Again, checking on tests is great, especially that negative three shouldn't be too hard to plug back through. Um, if the fractions are giving you trouble, you can always try just working the problem again and seeing what happens. Okay, thanks for watching.